God. It is surely a privilege and an honor to be before you this bright getting up Sunday morning. And there is a word from the Lord. The scripture text I have for us today comes from the book of Acts. And that's the Acts of the Apostles. The book of Acts, the fifth chapter. And I'm going to read those first 11 verses for us. That's Acts 5. And I have the English Standard Version, and it reads, But a man named Ananias, with his wife Sapphira, sold a piece of property, and with his wife's knowledge, he kept back for himself some of the proceeds, and brought only a part of it and laid it at the apostles' feet. But Peter said, Ananias, why has Satan filled your heart to lie to the Holy Spirit and to keep back for yourself part of the proceeds of the land? While it remained unsold, did it not remain your own? And after it was sold, was it not at your disposal? Why is it that you have contrived this deed in your heart? You have not lied to man, but to God. Mm -hmm. When Ananias heard these words, he fell down and breathed his last. And great fear came upon all who heard of it. The young men rose, wrapped him up, and carried him out and buried him. After an interval of about three hours, his wife came in, not knowing what had happened. And Peter said to her, tell me whether you're, you sold the land for so much. And she said, yes, for so much. <laughs> but Peter said to her, how is it that you have agreed together to test the spirit of the Lord? Mm -hmm. Pastor and I call that. How you find somebody that's going to be the same kind of crazy you yeah, are? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. How is it that you have agreed together to test the spirit of the Lord? Behold, the feet of those who have buried your husband are at the door and they will carry you out. Mm -hmm. Immediately, she fell down at his feet and breathed her last. When the young men came in, they found her dead and they carried her out and buried her beside her husband. And great fear came upon the whole church and upon all who heard of these things. Mm -hmm. That is the word of the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. You know, I believe we just witnessed the first heart attacks. <laughs> because it said they had contrived this in their hearts yeah. together to mm -hmm. lie and grieve the Holy Spirit. Uh -huh. I love the, the book of Acts. Um, it, it gives us the, it's really the birth of the church. Mm -hmm from the falling of the Holy Spirit onto all the believers and the church growing hand over fingers over feet. It was growing so fast. And we see at, at the end of chapter four that they had decided to put all that they had together so that no one had any lack. Mm -hmm. And then we have these two who contrived in their heart to hold back just a little bit. Yeah. We 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 not gonna give it all. We just gonna give what we have um, agreed to among ourselves. So the 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 this whole story of the church, it goes on in the next few verses. We see um, Peter and Paul have contentions about different disciplines in the church. We see a church split when Paul goes one way and Barnabas goes another. I mean, we see all the things that we see in the church right now. Mm -hmm. And that helped me see today that if this is the, the birth of the church, yeah. this is the history of the church. Mm -hmm. We go on and see even after the book of Acts with the early church fathers, from the early church fathers to Constantine, to the Catholic church, to, to Protestant churches, to mega churches, mm -hmm. that the gospel, the good news of Jesus is going to grow no matter what we do. Yeah. It's not because of us. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's despite us, mm -hmm. yeah, despite right. the things that we bring that, that hinder the people of God from coming and worshiping and giving their all. God's church is going to continue to grow. We couldn't control the move of the gospel. And that's what I see this couple here trying to do, to, to try to hold on to just that semblance of control, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. just a piece. If, if, if I could have just more than anybody else, just a little bit more then I would be safe. I would have I would have more security holding on, keeping back when everyone else had given their all mm -hmm. for a title this morning for our message going all in. 
All right. All right. Going all, right. all in. When we think about the church, and especially we, we talk all the time about the Catholic Church being the, the largest landholder of any other in the world. The, the Catholic Church owns the most land. And it seems as if the church keeps choosing power and influence over mm -hmm. humility and surrender. Mm -hmm. All right. And our God is still seeking those who will worship him in spirit and truth. Those yeah. who will go all in with God. Yes. In faith, you have to go all in. Mm -hmm. And as soon as we realize that we don't have the control that we think we have and that God is always in control of it all. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. Going all in. You have to, there, there is no plan B. I love how Jesus told us that once we put our hand to the plow. There is no turning back. There is no plan B. There is only plan G-O-D. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. And, and we see this theme and, and with these, these people, Ananias and his wife, Sapphira. And if, initially when you read it, it seems as if it's a greed problem. Mm -hmm. That they wanted to have more. That they saw how much what they had was worth and, and maybe we should just hold on to some for ourselves. It said they agreed together. Mm -hmm. But this isn't a greed problem. It's a heart problem. All right. It is... When you, the Bible tells us in Proverbs 4 and 23, that we have to guard our heart mm -hmm. because out of it flows everything else, everything that we yes. say and everything that we do, mm -hmm. because our thoughts fill up our heart. So it started with that, that thought, That's well, it. maybe we'll, we'll need something along the way. You know, I, I, I'm imagining they even pulled up um, uh, stories of Joseph and, and said that, well, if, if you if you just hold back and, and don't give it all and save a little bit for each year. I, I, I'm, it's amazing mm -hmm. how we can talk ourselves yes, into yes, and yes. convince ourselves that we're being wise. We, we, we know how to trust God with our investment, mm -hmm. but we don't yes, know how yes. to trust God with our tithe. That's it. All right. So we it, it was those thoughts that fill up our hearts. God wants us to be a good steward. So maybe if um, I, I need to bury this talent in the ground mm -hmm. rather than doing what the apostles are telling me I need to do with it. You know, I, I, I love the, um, the story. Of, um, it's found in Ezekiel, Ezekiel, the um, 36th chapter, right before he sees the dry bones. God tells him that when the children of Israel gather back to me, I will replace their heart of stone with a heart of flesh. One that beats for him. One that is all in with him. Not one that we have hardened, that we have seen what the world um, has for us and that we act out of that fear, mm -hmm. that lack of faith. God is looking for us to have a heart that beats solely for him. That's it, that's it. But we choose control, semblance yeah, yeah. of control rather than going all in. I remember um, when I was growing up, my mother had this game and it was a wooden box and it had a, a, a table that kind of moved, weighted, and it had a weighted ball. It was called a labyrinth. Mm -hmm. And you could move the box certain ways to, so the ball would avoid holes. Mm. And I played that game a lot. And it had numbered holes where you get to so many holes. I was like, okay, I made it to 68 this time. Uh -huh. <laughs> if I could just get to 100, then I, I, could, I could finish it all. And so it, it had this, it was wood, first of all. And if you know anything about control, you had the controls to move the board and the, and the ball was, you know, smooth and weighted. It wasn't supposed to have any variations in it. But there's always variations in wood. Yeah. There's mm -hmm. always variations in what God makes. Thank so this it. piece of wood, even though it looks smooth, I got to learn that there was a bump right here above hole number 70. Mm, yeah. So if I didn't lean it that way, then uh -huh. it would go into the hole. Yeah. And so I eventually got the game to go all the way to the end, but it wasn't because of the control that I had. Mm -hmm. It was because of what God had created. Thank God you. had That's put it. this wood Thank together you. that had all the bumps in the road in the right place so that I would get there at the right time. That's yes, it. Yes, That's yes, it. Yes. All power and authority belongs to God. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. And everything that God calls us to do requires faith. Mm -hmm. And yeah. faith is not in our head. It's in our heart. All right. Amen. That's why when we are born again, we have a heart change. Yeah. Those things that they used to just seem like they were normal and natural just aren't anymore. Mm -hmm. We just don't even see things the same way. We don't see people the same way. The people that we used to see as an adversary, an opponent, mm -hmm. someone who was always against us. Yeah. We or know now that they are just being used. They are just the, the, the face that is before us. Mm -hmm. Our opponent is in the heavenly places and God is fighting that fight for us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when we go back into those same things, I, I told you guys often that I, I keep having the same employee because I haven't learned that lesson yet. <laughs> and God, until I do, he's going to keep yeah. giving me that same opportunity. Is it? Isn't it great that God loves us so much that he's a, what's the song say, a God of a second chance? Uh -huh. Some of us on, on chance number 56. Thank you. But we know <laughs> that we serve a God of a second chance just as yeah. we go all in with God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, I, I think sometimes, because we really do think that we have control over some things. Okay, yes, yeah, some things are out of my control, but I can control this. And, you know, that just is dispelled so quickly and easily. If you have ever tried to have a conversation with someone, and you said what you meant, you said it clearly, and they heard something completely different. Yeah. Okay, so you, re you restated. Let me say it this way. Maybe they'll get it this time. Mm-hmm and they still don't get it. Mm -hmm. You write it down, you put it in a text, put it in a post on Facebook, uh -huh. and they still <laughs> get something completely different than what you were saying. You don't even have control over what your words do. Mm -hmm. yeah. The way yeah. your words are received. It is only with God that we are able to get to where he has us to go, Thank you. to Thank impact you the people that we are to impact. A, a message that I preach may not be for you, and it may be for the exact person that God had prepared. That's it. That's it. You know, I, I found a quote as I was um, reading on control. And it says that incredible change happens in your life when you decide to take control of what you have power over instead of craving control over what you do not. Mm. That's it. If we could just let God do his job, because yeah. uh -huh. we know all yeah. we can control is our responses, our reactions. We can only control it. We, we have tried to control other people. When I told you, I, I've tried to put my um, baby girl in law school since she was five. <laughs> we can only control ourselves. Amen. Yes. And yes. the challenge with that is that we don't want to be dependent. Mm -hmm. That's why we are so resistant of giving up our semblance of control, our illusion mm -hmm. of control, mm -hmm. because yeah. we don't want to be dependent. We want to be rough and rugged. Mm -hmm. We're going we gonna to pull yeah. ourselves up by our own bootstraps. All right. <laughs> it's because of what I know and, and all the degrees I got on the wall is the reason that I can do what I do. Yeah. Not having control doesn't make us weak or defenseless. Mm -hmm. It makes us human. Yes. Can we just let God be God? Mm -hmm. God would right. not have us burdened with every care. Yeah. Can you imagine if you had to remember to breathe? Oh, my mm -hmm. God. God made that automatic. There are a lot of things that God has made automatic that we keep trying to hold on to and take control of. Yeah. Yes. We don't forget to sleep. We don't forget to eat. That's why in um, Matthew's gospel in the sixth chapter, Jesus told us not to even worry about those things. Yes. Not what you're going to wear, or what you're going to eat. They, God already has that under control. That's it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you that I don't have to remember to take a breath. Thank you. Yes. That Thank God you. has that under control. But yes. it is our heart problems, again, that will keep us from going all in. Yes. Keep us from trusting God fully. Just like Ananias and his wife, Sapphira, we are holding back. And it may be different for 
for all of us. Some of us are holding back uh, a piece of our heart because we don't want to get hurt. We don't want to be fooled. We, we, we don't be want to be the one that's all in and, and it wasn't right. Mm -hmm. I, I know they said that Jesus forgave every sin, but they, they don't know about the ones I've done. Yeah, so I'm, yeah. I'm going to hold back just that little portion. For some of us, it's our money. Mm -hmm. I, I talked recently about the rich young ruler, that he, he had done all the other things. He had checked the boxes on the things that the, the commandment said he was supposed to do. But when Jesus told him to give up his wealth, he went yeah. away sad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. His, his countenance fell mm -hmm. because he wasn't ready to trust God with that part. Yes. Those things that we have worked so hard for, that, that we have allowed to define us rather than letting God define us, rather than letting the work that we do for him be in his hands and feet, rather than letting that define us, we hold on to those pieces that we are afraid to trust him with. We are trusting God for a healing, but not enough to let go of those things we're self-medicating with. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I know yeah. you're going to heal me, but I'm going to keep some ibuprofen 800 for a prescription <laughs> I had six years ago. I'm going to keep that in the cabinet just in case. But we say we're trusting God for a healing. And we have to be all in with God because we know that he is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can even think, ask, or imagine. We can't even imagine all that God can do if and when we let him. Yes. So often we think of our salvation, our relationship with God our relationship with Jesus and, and the work that he does to us and through us, the life that we're living, that he gave, that we might live. Mm -hmm. So often we think of that as a personal thing. When Jesus never meant it to be personal, it was always about the whole. Yes, yes. If the first and the great commandment is to love God and to love others, mm -hmm. it was always about doing it together. Thank you, Lord. That, that brought me to the story of the tri the 12 tribes, that they were finally able to enter into the land that God had promised them. Joshua was leading them into the land that they were to possess. And before he does that, you, you'll find it written in um, thir um, Numbers 32 and in the first um, chapter of Joshua, where it says that Reuben and Gad and half of the tribe of Manasseh decided that they were just going to accept this land here on this side of the Jordan. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. This here is good enough. We know that God has promised us great land on the other side of the Jordan. It's what he promised our fathers, but we're going to stay right here. We, 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 mm -hmm. we, we take this right here. Yeah. This land that we have already conquered, that there's, there, there's no more people, no more wars to be fought. I could preach a whole sermon on God giving you something, but there's still some work to do to get it. That's it. Right. That's it. Because that land has been promised, but it was inhabited. Uh -huh. God told them they were going to have to do some things to get that land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so the 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 tribe of Reuben and Gad and half of the tribe of Manasseh they decided they were going to stay on this side of the Jordan. That's 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 all they were trusting God for was mm -hmm. what we have oh, right here. Lord. And mm -hmm. then um in they made the promise to Joshua, who was now the leader now that Moses had died, mm -hmm. that we will go with our brothers. We yeah. will go and fight with them to inhabit the land that they were promised. And we, and once we have done that, just allow us to come back to this land over here. Uh -huh. That is what God is calling us to do. Mm -hmm. This, um, mm -hmm. your Jesus, my Jesus, it's not just about you. It's about the whole. Yes, it is. Until yeah. you have shared, until yeah. you have um, shared the gospel with everyone you know, mm -hmm. until you have talked with them and walked with them and showed them the goodness of God yeah. through your living, through the things mm -hmm. that God has brought you through, not just what you look like on the on the on that side of the Jordan, what you yeah. looked like before you got there, when you yeah. were in the fight. Yeah. Those are the things that change people's lives. God is calling us to be 
all in. Yes, it is. Yes, and it is. until yes, we is. are willing to go and do what God calls us to do, we are just like Ananias and Sapphira. We all are right. holding on, back. Hold we got that little portion of something waiting for the other shoe to drop. There is no plan B. There's mm -hmm. only plan G-O-D. Mm -hmm. So here's the thing. We need to see beyond our needs. Yeah. All right. Oh, that's a hard one. Mm -hmm. We need to see beyond what we need. Because Jesus didn't just die for us to be happy. Mm -hmm. All right, come on. He died for us so that we would give our life for him. Mm -hmm. that's it, that's it. You, 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 when you accepted Jesus, that, that debt of sin was paid. Mm -hmm. Now there is a debt of gratitude, yes. of gratefulness, a debt yes. of responsibility to make yes. sure that everyone experiences Jesus just like you have. Yes. I have never heard someone say, God, you bless me enough. Yeah, yeah. Stop, stop, right. stop blessing Come me. On now. <laughs> so as long as you are still accepting the blessings of God, yeah, yeah. you uh -huh. have to set, accept the opportunities and responsibilities that come yeah. with being his child. Thank you, Lord. Yes. You accept the role of serving. Yes. Of, of being the least of those. You know, you're not called to be at the head of the table. Come on. Jesus came to serve and we are to do likewise. Thank you. Yes. As long as you are still accepting the blessings of God, you have to be willing to love unconditionally. I just prayed recently about loving like you've never been hurt. Yes. People will hurt your feelings. People will yes. let you down. We are flawed. Mm -hmm. um, um, Pastor had a, a professor that, that stated it as we are a profoundly fallen people That's it. That's it. in a profoundly fallen world. That's it. That's it. But we serve a great God who is able to do more than we can even think. Mm -hmm. As long as we are accepting the blessings of God, we have to be willing to forgive. You know, every time we, when we have our Lord's Supper, it says if you have any ought with anybody, you need to get that right before you come mm -hmm. here expecting to be forgiven. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. God, as long as we are receiving his blessings, we have to be willing to give. Yes, yes. You know, the first thing God gave is life. Yeah, yeah. And then he gave us new life. Yeah. He gave us the opportunity to be born again. Thank you, Lord. That we didn't Thank have you, to have the, the sins of this world. That they could be given and that he had given us the perfect, sufficient sacrifice. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You know, I love when people say, um, God know my heart. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God know my heart. Uh -huh. I don't have to, you know, fill in the blank. Mm -hmm. I, I don't have to go to church. God know my heart. I don't have to tie God. No. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Yeah, yeah. Yes, he does. And I stopped by to tell you today that you got a heart problem. Come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Just like Ananias and his wife, Sapphira. You, if you are holding back, if you are not all in with God, yes, uh -huh. he does know your heart. Yes, he does. Uh -huh. Yes. We have been given the gift of grace. And that's, that's a great and awesome gift. Mm -hmm. And it's still a gift when everyone has it. It's a greater gift when everyone has it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If I have grace and I have the love of Jesus in my heart and mm -hmm. everybody that I'm operating with does too, everybody that I work with, Everybody that I live with, everybody that I encounter. Can you imagine mm. a world like that? Mm. Where mm. we are all living like we are forgiven and loved. Yeah. Like we all have the grace you, of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You know, Thank a lot of us have been sitting on the edge of doubt for too long. Mm-hmm. We've been waiting to see how, I don't know what you're waiting to see, how things are going uh, gonna to turn out. You're yeah. going to have to just go all in. That's what faith is, is all is it. about. Uh -huh. It's it. not about uh, 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 the um, certainty. It's about trusting that God is in control. Yes. 
you know, I had the opportunity to, to play some some cards last night at game night for um, Michael's birthday. Happy birthday to my my um, baby boy. He's turning 28 today. Him and my auntie Beverly share a birthday. And we had the opportunity to play cards. We didn't play poker. But, you know, going all in is a poker strategy. Yes, it is. Uh-huh. So it's, it's one of those things that you can do if you are confident. You're looking at your cards. You you got an ace high, flush, straight, whatever the uh -huh. best poker hand is. <laughs> you're looking at your cards. <laughs> and you know that you have the best cards. You have the winning hand. Uh -huh. yeah, you can't yeah. lose. That's when you go all in. That's it. That's and, it. And, and you know, I, I thought about that. Okay, yeah, I'm going all in because I know I'm going to win. I know that I have, but it's also a strategy of keeping the opponent from making another move. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. When I go all in, that that next card that, the, that my opponent may have been waiting for, uh -huh. he doesn't get to pull it. That's it it yeah. all stops when I go all in. Mm -hmm. And that all is exactly right. what God is yeah. calling us to do yeah. today. While you're yeah. waiting on to see what the enemy's next card is, mm -hmm. all you need to do is go all, go all in all with in. God. Go all in. All right. Step all right. out on faith. Yeah. I, I say all the time that it's not faith if you're not using it. That's it. Yeah. I can say I got it. I can wear it across my chest, but until I'm using it, until That's it looks it. like that I have no fear because fear right. and faith cannot be in the same place at mm -hmm. the same time. Thank I don't you. know about you, but that's what the love of Jesus has been for me. Mm -hmm. Even when I fail, he comforts me. That's yeah. it. That's it. When, when, when I don't know which way to go or when I think I have lost, all I have to do is remember that I have victory in Jesus. That's it. Yes. It doesn't matter what this situation right here looks like mm -hmm. because in the end, we win. Mm -hmm. That's it. I, I just That's wish it. that everyone would read the love story that is God's word. Yes. From beginning to end, God is calling us to him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. created us. It said that he knew what we would do before we were formed in our mother's womb. Oh, yeah. Yes. Going all in with that God. I have victory in Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so do you. And until we both walk in that victory, I, I can't live free. Mm -hmm. We all have to be there together. And so yes. that's why I, I have to share the love of Jesus every time I'm with anyone. Mm -hmm. Because until I get you there, we can't celebrate together. That's it. That's you know, it. Um, I, and I know I've told this story before about um, being downtown when I was in seminary. And I, my friend's car was broken into and my laptop was stolen. And we were in a, a womanist theology um, work session and we had gone for lunch. And so, of course, this happened at lunch. We come back. We're late to class. We're frustrated. And we were telling the story to our professor, and we were waiting for her to join in and, and say, yeah, uh, those homeless people, they need to do something about them. They need to lock them all up. You know, we were real mad. We were, we were big mad. If you had to put a cape on us, we would have been super mad. So we, we were waiting on her to jump in on our pity party. And instead, she said, well, you know, as long as there are people in need, mm -hmm. as long as there are people that are waiting to be reached by the yeah, love of Jesus, yeah. then there will always be things like this. Because uh -huh. until we all have, yeah. none of us do. That's, that's it. it. That's right. it. Until that's we are it. all walking with God, none of us are free. Yes. And I promise you today that when you choose to trust God, when you choose to put your faith in him, in his word, he will lovingly call you to him. He is waiting. Yeah. Yes. He's waiting for you to be all in. Will you go all in with him today? Whatever it is that is keeping you from being sure, certain and sure about uh -huh. the love of Jesus, that there is nothing that can come against you, that every weapon will fail because you are on God's team. You have the grace of Jesus, and it was given to you that you might share it with others. Will yes. you go all in? Thank you. Will you go all in today? Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes.